Hi, Mark here from Connected Healthcare New Zealand. Another video in the series for the Mindray SV800 ventilator. This one's about automated mode AMV. How to use it, when to use it, and how to switch from another invasive mode. Just the basic functionality of it and a little bit of chat about when you might want to be using it. So to move over from another ventilation mode, at the moment we're in volume assist control, we can go along this line and there's other modes available. AMV is at the end in this case. These are the basic settings and there's not many of them and that's part of the automated mode type configuration that you put in minimal data and the ventilator calculates things on your behalf. The oxygen and the PEEP you'll be familiar with those. The minute volume percentage you might be less familiar with. The 100% minute volume is essentially the amount of minute volume calculated for an adult male of 70 kilos in this case for normal metabolism. And so if they're unwell, if their work of breathing is, is high, if they've got a fever, sepsis, these reasons you might be increasing the percentage minute volume. As before, there's a psi function available. We can turn that on and you can go through, in this case, every minute, three cycles, three breaths of psi with an increased peep for that time to open up those airways. So now we've pushed OK and it's automatically changed over to AMV, in this case AMV with a psi. When you switch to AMV, the default display will come up as waveforms with AMV site window and Palmer site window. While you can tuck those away to see more about the waveforms, having them open is quite a good thing to do so that you can see what the ventilator is trying to achieve. At the moment, the minute volume, the target is 8.82 and we're getting close to that now. Then you've got a tidal, tidal volume and a frequency of breathing a respirate target as well. And you can see where those are tracking. If you're not used to using automated modes, then you might have the question of when is it appropriate to use them. The answer is probably back with you. It's probably to do with your ability to let go of the clinical decision making and allow a ventilator to make those decisions for you. The ventilator is making a breath by breath analysis of the lungs and so there's good research to say that these algorithms and this analysis puts the ventilator actually in a better place a lot of the time to make those decisions. You're not completely letting go of the decision making by putting it on an automated mode, but you are allowing those breath by breath changes to be made by the ventilator depending on the lung compliance and resistance when the patient is turned over or moved or there are sudden changes, then the ventilator can go with those changes and make adjustments. The other part of the answer to that question of when is an automated mode to be used might be answered by saying any time they're intubated. If you take someone who is heavily sedated with or without a picture of ARDS, high compliance, low compliance, and then right through to being extubated, then the automated mode is appropriate. It will respond to a patient who is sedated and not taking any breaths. And it will also work well with a patient who is ready for extubation and is taking most of the effort for themselves.